Due to a variety of historical and political incidents, relations between India and Pakistan have been complicated and largely hostile. The violent partition of British India in 1947, which sparked the Kashmir conflict, and the numerous military conflicts fought between the two nations, have characterized relations between the two states. Consequently, aggression and distrust have plagued their relationship. In some populations, northern India and Pakistan slightly overlap. Welcome to our channel, Data is Everything. Today we will discuss the differences in India and Pakistan and will also know the history of how did it start. Let us start with the beginning. British rule over the Indian subcontinent from 1858 until the independence of India and Pakistan in 1947 this phase was known as the British Raj. Pakistan was part of India until 1947. In 1947, the partition of India separated British India into the nations of India and Pakistan, East and West Pakistan. This division was part of the end of British rule over the Indian subcontinent. Because of religious conflicts, the partition was in part triggered by the two-nation theory proposed by Syed Ahmed Khan. Pakistan became a Muslim republic, and India became a Hindu yet secular country with a majority. Muhammad Ali Jinnah was the official spokesman for the partition. He became Pakistan's first governor-general. India and Pakistan formed diplomatic ties soon after gaining their independence, but the violent partition and conflicting territorial claims quickly overshadowed their relationship. The two nations have fought three major wars since their independence, as well as one undeclared battle, and have been involved in several armed skirmishes and military standoffs. With the exception of the 1971 Indo-Pakistan War and the Bangladesh Liberation War, which resulted in the separation of East Pakistan, the Kashmir conflict is the key focal point of all these conflicts. Now let us see the differences between the countries after their independence. Starting with 1. Economy of the countries. More than 70 years later, India seems to me to be a robust democracy, with a vibrant economy. It feeds its own people. Pakistan is on the verge of being a failed state, the economy is in shambles, and the country requires foreign aid to survive. India's economy is characterized as a market economy that is developing. It is the sixth largest economy by nominal GDP in the world and the third largest by parity of purchasing power PPP. On a per capita income basis, India ranked 142nd by GDP, nominal, and 124th by GDP, PPP, in 2020, according to the IMF. Successive governments promoted protectionist economic policies from independence in 1947 until 1991, with extensive state intervention and regulation characterized as dirigism. Whereas, in terms of purchasing power parity PPP, Pakistan's economy is the 23rd largest in the world and the 42nd largest in terms of nominal gross domestic product. Pakistan has a population of more than 220 million, the fifth highest in the world, giving it a nominal per capita GDP of $1,357 in 2019, which ranks 154th in the world and gives it a per capita PPP GDP of 5,839 in 2019, which ranks 132nd in the world for 2019. Now, let us have a look at the two. Population of the countries. With nearly a fifth of the world's population, India is the world's second most populated country. The population was 1,352,642,280. In 1952,642,280. According to the 2019 World Population Prospects Revision, the population doubled to 1.2 billion between 1975 and 2010, reaching the billion mark in 1998. India is predicted to surpass China by 2024 to become the most populous country in the world. By 2030, it is expected to become the first country to shelter more than 1.5 billion individuals. Whereas, according to the UN data, Pakistan's estimated population is at 220,892,340 in the mid of 2020. Pakistan is the fifth most populous country in the world. Pakistan's urban population grew more than sevenfold during 1950 to 2012, while the total population increased more than fourfold. The population of the country has had a relatively high growth rate in the past, which has been altered by moderate birth rates. 
the average population growth rate was 2.40 percent between 1998 to 2017. 3. Literacy rates of the countries. The effective literacy rates of India for age 7 and above in 2020 is 84.7% for men and 70.3% for women. Whereas in Pakistan, the literacy rate ranges from 98% in Islamabad to 23% in the Torghar district. Literacy rates vary regionally, particularly by sex. In tribal areas female literacy is 9.5%. 4. Approximate army of the countries. The Indian Armed Forces have 1,444,500 active personnel and is ranked second in the world. The country invests 2.4% of the GDP in the Army and the amount is equivalent to $66.9 billion for the financial year of 2020-21. Whereas, the Pakistan Armed Force has 653,000 active personnel and is ranked sixth in the world. The country invests 4% of the GDP on their armed force and the amount is equivalent to $10.3 billion. 5. Weapons and Equipment Approximation of the Countries For the land forces, India has 4,426 tanks, 5,681 armoured fighting vehicles, and 5,067 total artillery. Whereas Pakistan has 2,735 tanks, 3,066 armored fighting vehicles, and 3,745 total artillery. For the air forces, India has a total of 2,261 aircraft. Out of which 323 are fighter aircraft, 374 are multirole aircraft, 220 attack aircraft, and 725 helicopters. Whereas, Pakistan has a total of 1143 aircraft. Out of which 186 are fighter aircraft, 225 are multirole aircraft, 90 attack aircraft, and 323 helicopters. Nuclear weapons, India is not a party to the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty. India maintains a, no first use, nuclear policy India has not released any official statements about the size of its nuclear arsenal. As of January 2020, India was estimated to have around 150 warheads. Pakistan is one of several nations that are not part of the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty. Yet, the Pakistani government managed to acquire nuclear warheads, or at least it is believed so. The entire pursuit for nuclear power began at the beginning of the 1970s. It was back then when Western powers heard about Pakistan's efforts of developing nuclear weapons. In the beginning, the government established the first nuclear power plant. It was located near Karachi. Noteworthy is the fact that it was possible due to the help of Western nations, which provided Pakistan with the necessary equipment and materials. Later on, the president of Pakistan said that the main goal of Pakistan is to construct nuclear weapons. It was a response to India's claim that they are capable of building nuclear weapons. That was all for today's video. Thank you for watching, data is everything. Like, share and subscribe to our channel.